All right, today we're going to learn how to clean an AP213 coffee machine, um, how to properly service it every time you come. Unlock it, open it up. You want to check your cups. See this one's low, we're going to need to get some tr uh, cups out of our truck. And plenty of small cups, so we're going to need some large cups out of the truck. You know, obviously the normal things, latch here. Your coin box and your bills. Check your change, everything's fine. So, we're going to check the different hoppers for product, make sure there's enough product in each of them. They appear to be just fine. We're just going to look into these lattes and things. Ah, we need some mocha. So, we'll bring our mocha, open the bag, fill it right into here. Inside the machine, you'll have your mode switch. Also, uh, you have your security key here that can take it up to a higher setting. But we're going to start off going into mode one to check our accounting. So we're going to press that button once. And on the front of the machine, it'll show us mode one. Once you're in mode one, you control uh, getting the information by hitting your large start button. And this will change to M02324 That's the number of VINs on this particular unit since last time the board was reset, 23,000 VINs. You hit the button a second time. It says M1 and it gives you the count $15,764.80. Now, when servicing this machine, I need to run a manual flush cycle on it every time I come here. So I'm gonna hit the mode button two more times. I'm in mode two, one more time, I'm in mode three. I hit once again the large button, large start, it says option, yes or no. I can change my options by going to my first choice and hitting these buttons. I hit my strong button, takes my Y is flashing. That means this option is now turned on. I hit start again, and this machine is going to run a cleaning cycle on itself. While the machine is running this cleaning cycle, I'm going to go ahead and manually rinse some other things. We're going to remove this heat shield here. What this does, this heats up the powders so they don't cake, keeps them dry, uh, very hot. Don't touch it. Any of these portions it has two little handles here. Put it right up there. Next, I'm going to remove this section here so that I can clean it properly. And then if you look into here, you can see that they're from the moisture, uh, that there's some buildup of the products starting to cake up because they've you know, uh, hit moisture and then they have dried out. So we're going to clean this out. There's a hose up here. Reach up. I'm going to get my hose. Water is very, very hot, about 195 degrees. So we're going to be careful not to have the water touch us. Make sure we do a really good job rinsing all of this out. This is something you should do every time you come to the account. All right, I'm also going to rinse out the tray down here just in case any powder has managed to spill into this tray. That's what it's for, for cleaning everything out, make sure everything's nice and tidy. All right, after we've rinsed everything off, we're going to put our hose back up here. Start putting everything back. These tubes go in here, and they click on this metal rail. Okay, this shield is going to go back into place. There's two slots here. Just goes into the slots, fits right there. That'll keep your powders from caking up and able to come out where the whipper motors bring them through. This is a freeze-dried machine, so we don't need to worry about our coffee grounds. But we do have this bucket for the water when it uh, flushes and when we clean it. Anything that drips through when people buy beverages. This float, we're going to pull this float up and put it up here. Once we put this float up here, the machine will no longer function. So we don't have to worry about anyone trying to get coffee while we're gone or doing a flush cycle or anything. And I'm going to take this, empty it in the bathroom, clean it out. Then I'm going to put some antibacterial soap or Clorox in it to keep any mold from growing in it in between visits. You can see there's no mold in this bucket. You have to make sure there's a place in the facility where you can dump out your wastewater. This is always a concern when you're setting up. Uh, an account where you're going to have a coffee vending machine. You should need some way to get rid of your wastewater and clean up your bucket and things like that. Okay, now we're going to rinse out our bucket, make sure there's no particulate matter in it really well. 
see, rinse it out. We're going to add a little bit of soap to this one. Some more water. I'm going to scrub the sides of the bucket down really well. I want this to be nice and clean so that we don't have any molds or bacteria or anything growing in our bucket. After the bucket's been rinsed out and washed, I'm going to add some bacterial soap to it and a little bit of water and stir it around so I have a nice foamy antibacterial mixture in the bottom of this. All right, so we place the bucket back in. We drop our float back down so that we can reactivate the machine and we can do that by turning it off and turning it back on. Hold it off for a few seconds. Everything cycles back on. Ready to go.